Merry Christmas, it is December 3rd, and I am not wearing my hat. Merry Christmas, it is December 3rd, the second week for Christmas ornament things here on the Grab Bag of Whimsy. We have three coming up, things that are made of three, like the Trinity, like the gifts that were given to Jesus on Christmas Day. Not really Christmas Day. The day we choose to celebrate the day that the three people, two man guys came. The three course meal. All good things come in threes, right? This is me trying to be funny. I have three fun ornaments to talk to you guys today, depicting the nativity of the Lord Jesus Christ. All probably factually inaccurate because they're more likely in a cave somewhere behind an inn that had no room for them, but it is more convenient for us Americans to have small shingle things of wood propped up in our front lawns showing a baby Jesus. Even though, if any rain were to fall on that thing, it would collapse instantly or have a giant mold problem because of a leak. <laughs> oh, little town of Bethlehem! This one. Usually I like to try to tell some kind of story about the ornaments that I show you, but I honestly have no flipping idea where this came from. This may have come from my previous place of work. I don't, I don't know. The one thing I do know is that it has glitter on it, and that is a no-no. Bad. No glitter. The world would be better without glitter. We have... Oh, the little Bible Jesus. I do think that Mary's eyes are a little creepy. Like they're staring into your soul. 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 Joseph's eyes ain't too much better. I do like he's got some good stripey stripes down here. It seems a lot more shiny on camera than it does in real life, which is pretty interesting, but it's fun. It's glass. I think I may have gotten some glitter on my face. Oh, fragile. Handle with care. It's from the Robert Stanley. Oh, it was a, it must have been a gift. This must have been a gift. Somebody cut the price off of it. Smart. Here you go, baby Jesus and family. Have fun. Ah, but there's more baby Jesuses coming up next. All right, so this one, I believe came from my parents. Check the log. Let us see. Hmm. Year? Question mark. Not a good sign. Event? Christmas? Owner? Us? From? Question mark. Well, poop. Well, that didn't work. Anyway, it's this one. Made out of this fun little bark wood. Ooh, look at the back. I like the wood. I like wood grain. Wood grain's good. Wood grain's fun. It's, it can be festive. Ooh, there's a tag. It says earth wood. Duh. This beautiful wood comes from olive trees, the type that grew in Gethsemane. Aww. There's biblical meaning to this gift. <laughs> and around Jerusalem where Jesus walked. Every two years the olive trees are pruned so that they bear fruit. These beautiful pieces are made from those prunings by Christian craftsmen living in Bethlehem. Oh, that's awesome! And it says Bethlehem right there. You can see this fun little nativity. It's kind of hard with my hand in the background there. So let's put a tag that makes it equally as hard. There we go, a nice Christmas tree in the background. I do like this star piece, like how they made it kind of dangle dangle down. It looks like that part in the back of your throat that goes ah. Of course, you have the baby Jesus down there in Bethlehem, and this is really this is really smooth. I like how Mary's lighter and and Joseph's darker there. Part of that wood grain on the backside I was telling you guys about earlier. Man, this just feels sensorific, smooth and fun. I wonder what they finished that with. Anyway, that's really really cool, and you can definitely tell just by the shape who's who. I don't know who gave that to me. Sorry. That's kind of cool though. This is the piece that was pruned from the olive tree. It's got a good little brass bracket thingy eye hook. So thank you. All right, now this one came from my father-in-law, Papa Jay. His last name's John's, so you can do the reference. Pizza. He gave us a couple years ago uh, this fun little nativity scene. And the blue is what really blew me away. 
I couldn't resist. What I liked about this one is, I know this isn't necessarily what it was trying to do, but it made me think of kind of like a Hawaii Christmas, because it's got these palm trees. But there's the, you know, the shingle style that I probably built myself, that if I blew on it, it'd fall over, but what I like about this is the contrast of colors. I love the yellow, kind of goes with this up here too, but with this really just fun uh, electric blue uh, and these these green palm tree things there. Ooh, you can see my hand and the background giant hand. Ooh, now you see my face. I, I just love the yellow with this guy. I swear if I cover up. There, maybe that'll work. You can kind of see Mary and Joseph right there. Really shiny, really glossy, I really, really like it. it. Comes with a really cool box. I wish I had the box with me, but I don't right now. Thanks, Papa Jay, appreciate it. Like that one a lot. Now I want pizza. Well, I hope you guys liked that as much as I like showing that to you. Please like this video, comment things down below if you feel so inclined, and if not, well then you're just a big fat jerk. I'm kidding, you're not a jerk. Just highly inconsiderate. Have a freaking Merry Christmas, and a freaking Happy Holidays, and a, a freaking fantastic weekend, and I will see you guys next week for a monsoon of nerdy goodness.